Good morning, my name is Irene. In this video I will take you through my art process step by step, from concept sketch to final artwork. I will also show you how I digitalize my artwork using my iPad and how I add text to take it to the next level. Hi my lovely creatives, after uploading many landscape art classes, uh, all in real time, which you can watch there, I'll make sure I put a link up, I decided to just create some personal work and I'm taking you along for the ride. So I'm going to paint this woman. Here she is. Um, this is my sketchbook. I'm going to use that picture as a reference for a larger painting, which I can then make into art pins. Um, I can sell the original and I can make stickers out of it. I can do a whole range of things with this once it's finished. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I am going to paint this quite large on this A3 paper and I, <laughs> this is on my messy desk, I need to make sure I put my sketchbook somewhere I can see it. So here up against my scanner, I have a large scanner so I can scan my A3 paintings or even larger at home. Um, so there she is, this is the page for my sketchbook that I use as a reference. So um, yeah, let's get my gouache ready and dive in there. I decided to make a little sketch first because I had a clear vision in mind and my paper is very large, A3. And uh, I wanted to make sure that everything I painted fits on the paper. I often paint without sketching where I just follow my instincts and paint loosely. But for a clear concept like this, I prefer making a little bit of a rough sketch. So you can see I've started to paint. Um, I did not make a plan for colors. I'm just... Um, going with the flow. So pink hair it is. When I make work for clients my process is very similar to what I'm doing here today. Um, apart from the fact that I might spend a bit more time on my sketch to um, yeah, get it closer to what I presented the client with. Uh, but I usually make a concept sketch or a couple of concept sketches. People would review them, uh, decide what they want to go for and then I would either I uh, work on that sketch digitally or I would transfer it to a larger, nicer bit of paper and um, yeah, paint it from there. So on this occasion I transferred it really loosely onto the paper and I am painting it in. I love a limited color palette. I'm <laughs> making the skin blue today. You can see I don't mix my gouache very evenly. I've mixed this with blue and white to get this light color blue. And some areas are a little bit more white and other areas are a little bit more blue. And I love that variety. I can use the slightly darker blue for some shadows and the lighter blue for some highlights. And I love um, having my paint not too even. I know the traditional use of gouache is to create a really flat even finish. But I love these like little blurshes and uh, the texture and to create something with a little bit more movement in it, so I just use it in my own way. For the trousers I decided to go for a darker blue, because I like the color scheme so far and when you use these fantasy bright colors sometimes uh, less is more. So I decided to stick with the colors that I'm already using. And in my wet paint I dropped some yellow, uh, I love dropping wet paint in paint, just to see what effects that created and it feels a bit like a night sky to me. Really enjoyed making this picture so far. In the meantime, other parts of the painting have been allowed to dry. And the beautiful thing about gouache is that you can paint over uh, areas that already have paint on them once they're dry. So I'm using this light yellow to add some flowers in her hair. I am. Um... With this picture, I'm really just following my instinct and going um, yeah, with the flow and what I'm feeling in the moment. So. None of this is being planned out sort of meticulously, apart from the pose. I knew I liked my sketch and I wanted to do something with it. Now I'm just freestyling it, just having fun, adding some florals. I have been uh, thinking about using my art for a little bit more activism for a long time and to spread some more political messages. But I also just love creating pieces that make me feel good and that are um, fun to watch, that are colorful and vibrant. 
And that is sometimes a balance that's a little bit hard to find. If your work is very edgy, sometimes it seems like it's a bit easier to, um, yeah, to spread messages or to use your art for activism. But who says that florals and activism can't go together, right? I just need to find the balance in my own work and in my own style to do so. I suddenly felt inspired to add some tattoos to, um, to this arm and to her body. So I picked up a really small brush and I'm using dark green. Just to add some fine lines and some floral tattoos to my painting. I, um, I don't have any tattoos myself, but I do really love them. I think they often look really awesome on other people. The reason I don't have any is basically because I um, change my mind too often. I like changing up my style. I like trying out new things and you know, tattoos are pretty permanent. So I'm not really the right person for them. I uh, love changing up my hair, or cutting uh, it shorter, or doing undercuts, things like that. I used to dye my hair a lot, but I'm a little bit too lazy for that nowadays. So I just have my natural hair color now. But who knows, maybe I'll dye my hair pink again at some point. It is time to let my painting dry and then to add some color pencil to the picture. I love color pencil because it adds texture and you can add some details and um, I think the combination with gouache and watercolor is just absolutely wonderful. So there we go, especially with yellow, adding some highlights, some atmosphere to the painting. You can also see the tattoos up a little bit closer, so she has a snail, a mermaid, and it says hope on her fingers. I have finished the painting part of this painting and I'm really happy with what I've made so far. But during the process, I got all these ideas about adding writing and text to the character, um, making it a little bit more edgy. I added lots of tattoos on her arm because I wanted, I don't know, it just felt right. So I added lots of things to it. And you can see I've got really rosy cheeks from uh, being really concentrated. So I'm going to make a scan of this picture. Let me quickly show it to you. There we go. I'm going to make a scan of it and then I'm going to edit it digital to see what it looks like when I add some writing to it. Um, yeah, so let's do it. This is what the scan looks like before I have edited it. So you can see the corners are a little bit warped. But if I zoom in, there is a lot of detail on it. And my scans are really high quality. And much better than taking a photo because I don't have to worry about lighting. Let's send this to my iPad and start editing. Here we go. I've opened a new file on my uh, Procreate app. I sometimes use Photoshop or uh, Affinity, but today I will use Procreate. You can see I'm using a very old iPad. You don't need an iPad Pro to use Procreate. It just uh, has way less space. Um, so it's full quite often. So I need to make sure I send things to my computer really regularly, but that's fine. And the first thing I'm going to do is a bit of color correction. Let me quickly check. You can see it's a little bit pale. There we go. This seems a little bit better. Yeah, I have the original here. <laughs> See how much bigger that is. Um, 
I think these colors, this one is a little bit more blue and this one is a little bit more greenish, but I can change that a little bit. Let's leave it at this for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection. So yeah, I think that takes off too much. So I will do this manually. So invert and delete the background. This is not client work, this is just my own artwork and I can edit as destructive or as minimal as I want. There's no, there's no rules, it's my own art. If I want to change the colors completely or make some other things different, I can absolutely do that. So there we go. Let's start adding some writing. I'm going to use my ink pen. And um, some black. It is non-binary awareness week this week and I wanted the writing to be um, yeah to be spreading awareness of that week to show that the outside doesn't always show how people feel on the inside and that you can be whoever you are or whoever you want to be in this world. At least that's the world I'd like to live in so I want people to feel free to be who they are. Um, so I am just freestyling my writing. I'm using my uh, ink brush for this. It's one of my favorite brushes. I use it a lot in my artwork. I think it feels very natural. And I usually keep it quite thin. And if I want my letters to be a bit thicker, I'll go over them a few times. I think the bleed is a bit too much if I make my pen very uh, wide. So, so I'm adding all different pronouns around this person. I find that the picture is a little bit empty and I wanted to create a background and for my background I'm going to also add writing. So you can see I'm really largely writing lots of pronouns. It's just a trial. If I don't like it, it's on a different layer. I can just remove it. I wanted to show how often pronouns are something that people uh, label you with, even though it might not be what reflects who you are. So having it on the background, to me, that's a way of labeling this person. This is really a part that I always enjoy, playing around with layers, different opacities, different blending modes. You can really change the look of your entire artwork by having a bit of a play here and see what you can do and what the atmosphere of the picture does. So, well, I think I'm almost finished here. The final piece will be up as a print in my imprint shop and I might sell the original as well, which remember is without the writing. Let me quickly show you where we came from. This was my sketch for my sketchbook page. This was the finished painting and this is what it looks like now, edited and all. I hope you enjoyed seeing this process in detail. Um, make sure you watch all my videos and subscribe and I love to see you around here. Thank you.